quite incredibly, we are coming down the home stretch of yet another Masechta. Unbelievable. As we learn Mishnah uh, Ches and Mishnah Tes in the fourth parak of Masechta's Rosh Hashanah, sponsored Lila Nishmas Chasi Bashlomo, Lefur Shalema Feli Yomosh Ben Chayesar for the Schus of Avram Ben Yom and Benish Ben Malk Yudas and family. We sponsored by Yisrael Fisher, Lila Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain, and Shama Shidava Lichter Giganeden. We are uh, uh, sponsored by Yol Klugman and family for their Parnasa Bereva Chubakavid. We learn Rufu Shalema from Ayyem ben Chayesar, Avigda Ayyem ben Rivka. They should have a Rufu Shalema Besech Sharechele Yisrael. So the Mishnah tells us Shaifer Shal Rosh Hashanah, a Shaifer of Rosh Hashanah, um, even uh, at the time. Uh, when we blow it, we cannot bring it from outside of the Tchum. So even though it's only an Isid Rabbanan, we cannot bring it out from outside of the Tchum. We cannot dig it out of the rubble. We can't go up on a tree to get the Shaifer because we might pull off a branch. We can't ride an animal to go to hear the Shaifer. We might pull a branch to use it as a whip. We can't swim in the water to go here, Shaifer. We can't cut it. Whether it's rabbinically forbidden with a knife, if it's biblically prohibited with a saw. But if you want, if you want to pour inside it water or wine, that it should blow better, ye tain that you're allowed to do. Now, on Shabbos, remember we said that the reason why you don't blow on Shabbos is only because somebody might not know how to blow and he might carry it and do an Issa Doraisa. However, the actual blowing of the shofar is not forbidden and therefore children that don't have the Chiyav we don't stop a child if he blows the shofar on Shabbos. Not only that, you could even train them to blow since they don't have a chiv, so there's no gezerah for them not to do the shofar on Shabbos. Let's say that Dr. Black is trying to clean out the shofar from dirt and he blows. And he makes the sound, he's not yaitz, because he didn't plan on blowing. And therefore, since Dr. Black did not have a mind to blow, if somebody hears it, even though he had in mind to be yaitz, he can't be yaitz with Dr. Black's blowing that was not the shame, mitzvah shaifa. Now, say the tekiyas, the minimum order of tekiyas is shalosh, is three. A truer in the middle, right? Yom truer year lachem, and a tkia before and after. That's tkia truer tkia. Shel shalosh shalosh. Three sets: one for the malchiyos, one for the zichroinos, and one for the shayfros. So you have three. That's tkia truer tkia of three sets: one for the malchiyos, one for the zichroinos, one for the shayfros. Shir tkia, the shir of tkia is kishalosh truas. The shir of a tkia is like three truas. So each tkia is made up of three truas. Uh, now this means, this is tricky. When it says the shir tkia, it means the shear, this is the way the Rav learns. The shear of all six trikiyas is like three trus. So that means that each, each, uh, each tikiya is a half a true. 
right? Because sheer tekiya, each tekiya, that, mean, that means all six tekiyas, tekiya, 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 each six is like three truas. So that means that, that uh, two tekiyas equal a trua. And sheer trua kishalosh yavavos. And the sheer of a trua is like three little yelps, three little whimpers. Now, since a trua is comprised of three sounds, that's a shvarm, duh, duh, duh. So therefore, and each sound is made up of three whimpers. So then that means that one trua is nine whimpers. That's the second shot in the rab, which he says is the mistavrap shot. If you look in the rab, the rab says, V'yesh mefoshim shekol yevava hi gimel kaiches shel kol shehen. Nim sashir trua tisha kaiches shel kol shehen. Nine is, uh, uh, each trua is nine such whimpers because the trua is made up of three sounds. Each sound is three yevavas. So therefore the whole trua is nine whimpers. Now toka b'rishayna, let's say he blew a tekiah then a trua, and then the next tekiah, he blew double the duration. Taka b'rishayna, umoshach b'ashniya kishtayin. He blew the second tekiah twice as long, so he wants it to count as the last tekiah of the first one, and the first tekiah of the second set. Since it was only one sound, it counts only as one tekiah, even though it was double the length. For let's say he said the Zechreinus, the Malkia is Zechreinus and Shaifus, they didn't have a Shaifer. And then after Shmanesway, they got a Shaifer. Tekiah Maria, but Tekiah Shalishbam. He does tekiah, true tekiah, tekiah, true tekiah, tekiah, true tekiah three times, and he's Yitzchak. Now, Kishem Shishliach Tzibur Chayiv, just like the one that Davin's Shmain Esrei is Chayiv to Davin, his own Shmain Esrei before, Kach Kol Yochad V'yochad Chayiv. So also, every individual that knows how to read also has to say his own personal Shmain Esrei. The Tanakam holds, he can't be Yitzchak from the Shliach Tzibur. The only reason why the Shlich Tzibur says it is for those people that don't know how to read. But those people that know how to say it, they have to say it on their own. Rabbi Gamliel disagrees. Rabbi Gamliel, I'm a Shlich Tzibur, Moitzi, as a Rabbi Yudei Chavosim. If the other ones just want to listen, they could be Yitzi. Why, why then does everybody say their own Shmanes, right? Rabbi Gamliel holds that's only to give time for the chazan to go it over in himself, that he should be prepared to say. But really, Rabbi Gamliel holds that even those people that know how to do it themselves could be yaitse with the, the Shemana Esrei of the Shliach Tzibur. Hadr Allah Mesechlis Rosh Hashanah. Hadr Allah Mesechlis Rosh Hashanah. Hadr Allah Mesechlis Rosh Hashanah. Tomorrow we're going to start in Yed Sashem Mesechlis Tanis with the help of Hashem. And now, Rabbi Isai, don't go anywhere because we are going to learn, I'm going to get the green screen, and we are going to have the pleasure of learning another Chakli Yisrael with the help of Hashem.